This is the Peridon Canterbury Q. And like all Peridon Qs, it's real ebony. It's basically uh, a Q that you would get if you was really serious about your game. It's on the top scale of Peridon's price uh, range. And I thought at snookerstuff.com we should offer you more than just a little picture to go by when you're choosing a queue that you'd like. I think it's hard to actually just see as a snooker player a little picture on a, on a website or in a book and see if you like that queue or not. As you know, it's all about you know weight and feel and playing with the queue. So you can't really sell somebody a queue like this unless they can see it in action. I'm going to be trying to do the same as I am with this queue, with all the queues, uh, not just in the Peridon range, but all queues. Um, I feel it's a much better way to virtually sell a queue as if you were standing there. Basically, this queue is a, a hand-crafted, hand-spliced queue. It's not a machine-spliced, it's actually done by hand. The ash on here is kiln-dried and is treated with numerous different uh, different ways to keep the queue as straight and as good and flush as possible with no stickiness, there's no lacquer put on these queues. The quick release joints that the Peridon use all the time are of a good source. They don't come undone while you're playing a shot or walking around the table like some of the old quick release joints. Um, all the Peridon range now come with these queues, uh, with these SD joints so that you can use the mini button and the extensions. I'll be showing you in a separate video. But I think uh, with a 9.5 Elkmaster tip, 9.5 to a 10 is what's advertised. This one is more around about the 10 mil, I would think, looking at it. And it comes already shaped for you to play with. So all you have to do is get the cue out of the box. And it's up to you if you take it down anymore. But it's actually ready to play with. I've just chalked it up now. Never played a shot with this cue yet, but I think uh, we need to play a few shots and see what this feels like. Now with some cues you can hear there's definitely a sort of uh, tinny feel to it, or like a clunk sound when you hit a ball for the first time. I didn't find that with this. I'm going to hit another ball, see what that feels like. That feels really good. And it's not just because it's a more expensive queue, I don't feel. I just feel that, you know, this one seems to be a queue that's put together really well. And I feel that the, the, the weights does change my opinion, certainly on queues. I prefer a heavier weight. This is on the heavy side, which would be from about 18 to 19 ounces. It does range, you can get these cues from snookerstuff.com uh, and they come from around about the 16 ounces all the way through to 19 ounces. So have a little look on there and if you come up with anything from Snooker Stuff, let me know and I'll try and get a cue specifically what you're looking for. This was the, the Peridon Canterbury Snooker Cue.